everybody, this is Material Girl 338, otherwise known as Diane. Okay, this is what happened. These are my mistakes. I uh, wanted to save some money, my fault, and I went and I bought uh, a couple of rolls of Mylar bags, and I bought them on Amazon, but I didn't really ask the millimeters. It, it feels a little thick. It's not too thin. So I'm thinking, because uh, I normally use seven millimeters, uh, I think this is like a four or a five. Anyway, so I bought this, put it in my machine, you know, and I like the rolls because the rolls, what I can do is I can make my own bags because I have the sealer. So I can make any uh, size I want. So what I did was I freeze dried some sweet potatoes, zucchini and squash, and broccoli. Now, I want you to look at the bags. The bags are puffy. They're not, and I put oxygen absorbers in them. The bags are puffy, and because the sweet potatoes, and I, I have a video where I blanch my sweet potatoes for a couple of minutes, not two minutes, longer than that, and uh, this way, because when you freeze dry them, the bag, I mean, the sweet potato is not that hard. It's not like chewing on, a, you know, a, a piece of wood. Now, when I put the sweet potatoes that were freeze-dried in here, see how it made these holes? So that means that it's leaking, and there's air going in here, and this will no way last uh, for long-term food storage because it will build up um, microorganisms and bacteria, which is a bubble in your food. So... What I have to do is, and here's zucchini, zucchini uh, the zucchini is squash, you can see too. It's not, but the food is still, uh, you can feel it, it's still hard. Now this one is the broccoli, and I blanch all my uh, vegetables. I blanch broccoli and cauliflower um, before I freeze dry it. And then I, I also blanch sweet potatoes, potatoes. Not the zucchini. You don't need to do that with zucchini. All right, so anyway, so this bag, you could see it's got air in it, and it's not going to last. Uh, not even going to last a week, I don't think. So then I'm saying to myself, okay, so now what do I do? Because I paid money for these bags, and I have to open them up and reseal them. Well, I'm thinking, open them up. Put them in here. Now, I just made a video prior to this about putting food alone in the uh, vacuum seal bags. The the rice is rancid. The rice taste, smells horrible. Couscous smells horrible. Certain foods you cannot put right on the back of the plastic because it just, it leaches. And then I just spoke to um, a company that makes the Mylar bags and... Uh, prior to that, I was watching a video, and I'm going to call her out on it, uh, Linda's Pantry. And what she, what she was doing was she was making a meal in the jar for her husband, and then she wanted to test it out, so she put boiling water in the Mylar bags. So I looked on Google, and Google said absolutely, positively, no, never put boiling water in um, a Mylar bag because they're layered. The outside is aluminum. They're layered in the inside with plastic. They leach out toxins. So, you know, which cause cancer. So, we're the people that are in the food storage, the prepping community, uh, we're kind of up the creek without a paddle because the only way I'm thinking is safe to store your food is in mason jars. So, um, and, and mason jars are heavy. So what... I have another alternative. What I can do is I could put this bag in here and reseal it um, and then try it as a tester. So, you know, put it, I don't need to put an oxygen absorber in it already because there's an oxygen in here. But the one that the uh, sweet potatoes made the, the holes in it, I have to reopen that and seal it again. But I'm just telling you, I've been watching videos all morning and I'm seeing people doing really foolish things and giving out ill-informed information folks do your research do your homework google it uh go to duck duck go because sometimes google um 
uh, senses are searches, which I've been finding out lately and uh, do your research because this is all long-term food storage and this is supposed to last us many many years in case of emergency we are um we can you know feed our families so all right guys uh i'm gonna i'm gonna vacuum pack it now or i'm gonna use my uh seven millimeter bags and repackage them so um thank you and uh, post your comments and please subscribe and if you'd be so kind, share. Thank you.